Well, time for some bonus Rick Sweet today on Sky Sox Warm Up as we continue to reminisce with the Sky Sox manager, Rick Sweet, about his playing days. We pick up the conversation today talking about his time playing for AAA Hawaii, and his fellow catcher on that team was Kala Kahiaue, Kila Kahiaue's father. Kila plays for the New Orleans Zephyrs right now. He's a first baseman. And I asked Rick to tell us a little bit more about what it was like to play with Kala. Well, actually, it was very good for us. Kala was was uh, was our backup catcher and a uh, great guy, and it, and it helped, you know, because all of us are we're we're known as Howleys over there. If you're if you're not a Hawaiian or Samoan, you're you're a Holly, and and they always didn't look on us that kindly at times. And and having Kala play with us not only was a good player uh, and a class guy, but uh, you know it it gave us a little credibility with with the the native people over there. But uh, Kala and I have talked. Since then, when I when I saw Keela here, I walked up and I said, "Hey, tell tell uh, Kala." I said hi, and he looked at me like, "Who the heck are you?" Because he he had no idea who I was. Uh, but uh, Kala and I have gotten back together and talked since since his son was in here, and it, it was fun. He was a great guy. Always had a smile on his face. Rick Sweet, my guest, Sky Sox manager. We're doing some reminiscing here on Sky Sox warm up uh, about his uh, playing career. So, who told you uh, that you were going to the big leagues for the first time? Well, actually, I finished that year in Hawaii, and the next year I went to big league spring training, which was my first big league spring training. And, you know, we had guys like Gaylord Perry and Raleigh Fingers, Dave Winfield, uh, Randy Jones. I mean, we had a lot of veteran older guys, Gene Tennis. Uh, and, and I was a rookie, and back then rookies kept their mouths shut, and I just kind of hid in my locker all the time. Uh, but, you know, from day one, guys kept saying, you got this club made. You're, you're the only left-handed hitting catcher here. You had a great year last year. You got this club made. And that, well, I, I certainly didn't feel that way, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, they, they actually told me a funny story <clears throat> from there. Alvin Dark was our manager in that spring training. Well, uh, Alvin didn't talk to players very often, so I had never spoken to the man. Uh, we're probably a month into spring training. We've only got two or three weeks left of spring training. And uh, Alvin walks up to me in the training room. I'm there early, and I'm sitting in the training room, not hurt, by the way, just sitting in there talking. And Alvin walks up and, and sticks his hand out and said, hey, it's been really nice knowing you. I appreciate everything you've done. I thought I was sent down. I thought I was going back to AAA. Well, you know, I, I kind of I said, well, yeah, I've enjoyed it, blah, blah, blah. And he turned around and walked away, and I, you know, I dropped my head, and the trainer, uh, who turned out to be a good friend of mine, looked at me, and he goes, you know what's going on? And I said, well, yeah, I think I just got sent back down. He goes, hell no, he's fired. He goes, you're on the club. He goes, you So I had that probably about 10 minutes sick feeling in my stomach that I'd been sent down. Uh, it was the only time I spoke to the man, and, and it turned out he had been fired. So <laughs> I, I was still in the running for making the club. But, I, you know, they told us the last day that, <clears throat> that I was with the club. And, and so I, I guess there was really nobody there. They, everybody took for granted I was going to be on the club. I didn't take it for granted, but I was there. So in closing, what was it like for a kid from Longview, Washington, to make his Major League debut there for the first time in, in April of 1978? Well, you know what? We opened up in Candlestick Park. What a miserable place to play that is. But it was a day game, and it was the happiest moment of my life, obviously. And, uh, you know, I just I shake my head. I still couldn't think about playing in the big leagues. My whole career, I played three years in the big leagues, and, and I've coached two years. Still, when I go to a big league ball game, sometimes I'll, I'll step out. But I remember, uh, you know, playing games and thinking, wow, you know, Willie Mays and, and Mickey Mantle and going back to all the old names that I, I remembered played in this ballpark and was in this batter's box and played on this field. So, uh, you know, I, I, I still think about that, and I, I still – you know, shake my head that I, I played in the big leagues. I've never taken it for granted. It, it was uh, it was a tremendous ride. You know, obviously my parents and family were very happy. I look back at it now and people go, wow, it's so awesome. But I, I just take it for, for granted. But, um, you know, my first game in the big leagues, I'm sitting in the bullpen in Candlestick. 
And about the fifth, sixth thing, we carried three catchers back then. The phone rang, and they said, send Sweetie down. He's going to pinch hit. So I go running down, and I get down there, and I look at my feet. I don't even have my spikes on. I was so excited to get out there. I still had rubber. I had my rubbers on, and I, I had to go up there and hit with no spikes on because I didn't even wear my spikes. That's how, how uh, crazy it was. Well, one more, one more uh, little tidbit before we let you go. The, the research off Wikipedia it says, uh, your 1979 Topps baseball card, you're laughing. Um, and this was because teammate and friend Gene Tennis asked you jokingly how it felt hitting only one home run. And that's what got you going. Is that true? Oh, yeah, that's true. I, the, the year before in 78, uh, I played all year, only hit one home run. Uh, you know, I never was a big home run hitter anyway, but, you know, of course, tennis was hitting 20 plus every year and giving me a bad time. What, what we're laughing about is the fact that, that I did the majority of the catching because I could catch a heck of a lot better than him. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, that, that, he was giving me a bad time. They teased me quite a bit because I only hit the one home run in 78. Well, this has been fun. We'll, we'll have to do it again sometime. Thanks. Absolutely. It's amazing how you look this stuff up. It's amazing what you can find on the computer nowadays. Yeah, hopefully it's uh, mostly true. Anyway, Rick Sweet, our guest, Sky Sox manager. More to come on Sky Sox warm-up right after this.